I'd like to show you some of the new capabilities built into the PanOS 4.0 web interface. I'd like to start by, by highlighting the, the rule tagging capabilities. As you can see, there's a, there's a few rules here in the middle that I've, I've added some tags for to help demonstrate this. So what rule tagging allows me to do is, is I can add tags to, to my policies, and once I've added those tags, it allows me to basically create these, these dynamic uh, rule filters, if you will, rule grouping. So here what you see is I just, simply by adding this DMZ to the, to the filter up above, I now immediately see only those policies that are tagged with the DMZ. I can do the same thing and say, show me all the rules that are DMZ and web server. And if I now do that, what you'll see is there's two rules that are in the DMZ for my web servers. And so in a rule base of hundreds of rules, rule grouping is extremely powerful. Third, I'd like to walk you through this left-hand side, a whole new way of editing rules that you already have created. And I'm going to show you this through uh, address uh, object uh, um, additions to a policy. So on the left-hand side, what I just pulled up is a list of address objects that I have. And what you'll see is I can drag and drop these address objects into the policies on the right-hand side. And it's as simple as simply grabbing a rule, uh, an object and dragging it over. And one of the nice things is once I drag it over, I can also drag it up to a different field or a different rule. And I have the ability to do this for address, address group, and region. I can do it for user and user groups, application filters and groups, as well as service objects and service groups. So as you see, I have access to uh, all the different building blocks for a policy. The last thing I'd like to show you is the new commit locking capability that allows me to, as an administrator, keep other administrators from committing a partially uh, completed configuration on my part or even from being able to edit a policy while I'm editing it. And so I have the option of locking the commit or the config. So for example, I lock the, lock the commit for the whole device, editing policy, okay. Now what you see is this lock has been locked, which means that no other administrator can commit while I am still editing the policy until I take the lock off. So again, lots of new, Workflow capabilities is just a sample, rule tagging, filtering, drag and drop, new rule editing, commit locking, lots of great stuff. Thanks very much.